Okay, boys and girls of model railroad land and real railroad land, too. This is just an update on the downgrade. This area stays basically the same because I'm thin and I can barely walk through there. All of this stuff will be gone within weeks. All of this stuff will be gone within two weeks. Yes, down here. Now, remember last time I showed you this WCO junction, uh, Waverly Cutoff Junction, was all along this wall here. Started here and went all the way down there. As you can see, it go bye-bye. That's the last of it on the floor right there, 10 foot long section. Uh, yeah, it is a little disappointing, but the future gives me a whole heck of a lot more hope. Living with my wife at the cabin on the river is going to be fantastic. I will keep you up to date uh, as I get this stuff in. It's all going up the way you see it. All the wood will be saved with the exception of scraps and those will go up to the cabin and be burned. All of the track has been saved. Yeah, there it is. With the exception of a few short pieces. All the turnouts have been saved. And since I'm on a fixed income, anything I can save, I will. In there, it's just tidbits. It's a few screws here and there, switch, ground throws, uh, sleeper ties, and um, track nails. Yeah, I'm that cheap. These are the screws that I've been taking out. I use drywall screws specifically because I think they give me a little bit better. Now, this is the old Parkersburg yard here. You can't see it because it's covered with crap stuff. These are all going into boxes. I've got lots of boxes, lots and lots of boxes. And I've got lots and lots of storage space up top side. This is all stuff that's going up. Nothing is going to be saved. This part here will be torn down shortly. Within the week, probably by week's end, all the buildings will be put someplace, stored safely. Then we come over to here. Modular stuff, that's for the backdrop, that frame. And yeah, we'll have a backdrop. Now, all of this stuff is going to be going into a trailer. I misspoke myself when I said it was 50 foot by 8. Uh, no, it's not. It's more like 30 foot by 8, but enough to give me some time to play and work and have some fun and stay with trains. My workbench hasn't changed. It's still a mess. I'm sure some of you can relate. Some of the pink styrofoam's going up. Some of it's not. But this is what I got. This is my happiness next to my wife. All of this will be painted. Now that crack right there was that way when I moved in. And it hasn't changed a bit. So this is the wet corner here. Down into there, it always flowed on the floor. Maybe three quarters of an inch, but Recently, it was a heavy rain, and it got to be about an inch and a quarter, and it was a steady flow over to the drain. Uh, that's another reason I'm moving. I, on fixed income, I can't afford to have the root do or the basement doctor come in and take care of stuff. My studio will be down in here for oil painting and stuff like that there. My books will stay there for right now. They're the last to go up. But that's about it. Thank you for being patient, watching, and giving me all the good, positive comments that have been coming my way. They are all deeply appreciated. Peace to one and all. May the good Lord be with you. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun.